Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. A few minutes after 6 a.m. local time on Monday, they had a magnitude 4.7 earthquake off the big island of Hawaii. It was 36.1 kilometers in depth. It's been a little bit since I've done an earthquake report about what's going on there in Hawaii. Uh, here's the location of that earthquake. There was also a 3.1 afterwards, and you can see here we got the Lahani Seamount. And this is an area, if you go south, of some underwater volcanoes. Got another one right there. I'm not going to even try and pronounce it. Another little one. And let's come out of it a little bit. Um, we got the Hind Sea Mound. We got the Brian Sea Mound. The Shepherd Sea Mound. Yeah, etc. There's Newell Sea Mound. Yeah, Thurston. Uh, Snowden. You got a Sea Mound <laughs> named after you. Anyways. Let's go back up over here to the big island. Um, yeah, they're lucky there wasn't probably uh, an undersea landslide. Uh, yeah, you always wonder about um, the side of Hawaii having a huge landslide. Yeah, which uh, yeah, a lot of people do know about that live there on the island. There's this huge trough around all these islands. Can you see this darkened line through here? That's caused by the weight of the islands pushing down on the crust of the earth. Every one of these has that same trough around them. See that? USGS says more than likely that was the cause of the earthquake. But if you look at the depth, 36.1 kilometers deep, it very well could have been caused by the movement of magma under the ground traveling up through Palahala to Mauna Loa. Let me move this over and close this out here so we can see what's been going on. Most of these earthquakes down over here in Palahala, uh, 33.9 kilometers. Now this one's up there by Mauna Loa. That was not as shallow, only 1.6 kilometers in depth. So that was above somewhere up on land more than likely. Another one from Palahala, uh, 33.6, and you can go through them. Yeah, so what's happening lately is uh, we got a recharging of Mauna Loa. The magma is uh, traveling up. See, that one's 42.7, and that's pretty darn close to the same location as this, uh, what was it, 4.7? Yeah, and uh, let's see, that's over there by the fissure. There's that 3.1, 34.3 kilometers in depth. Ah, what's this one right here? 2.2. That was only 18 kilometers in depth. And we've got another little one right here. That was 33.5 kilometers in depth. And then I thought I'd look at some of these uh, more recent earthquakes up there by Mauna Loa. Uh, 1.9, only 1.6, or minus 1.6 kilometers in depth, which would mean it's above sea level. Another, on 1.9, 0 0.2 kilometers in depth. So let's go over here and look at Fisher 8 and where that activity was going on, what, two years ago? We got another little one right here, uh, 4.2 kilometers in depth, a 2.2. Uh, Liani Estates, uh, Volcano Hawaii, 1.8 kilometers, real shallow, 0 0.6 kilometers, um, and this one was 2.2 kilometers. Images from the East Rift Zone, yeah, we still got some smoking going on, so we still got some hot magma fairly close to the ground. And it looks like we've got some construction going on for the uh, uh, thermal plant, which is over here. Yeah, it looks like we got the fencing and a road. I don't know if that's fencing or not, or maybe poles for power. And the thermal plant is, let's see if we can zoom in, right there. Yeah, 
And yeah, you can see the steaming a little bit better. Let me try and pull this over so you can see. Let's see. Yeah, maybe for lights or power poles or whatever. Yeah, but they're, what do you think? Probably power lines, but they got two awful close together here. And then they got another tower right there. Yeah, looks like they're working on a road over here probably. Or maybe that was an old road that was taken out. Hard to say. I haven't had a chance to look to see if that power plant is up and going. But there is a truck here. So maybe they're working on getting it re-going if it isn't going already. And let me see what we can see over here. No. Off in the distance you can see some steaming still going on too. Let me pull it over. Yeah, over there. Yep. But that's all I got for you about that right now. Um, 134 earthquakes within the last week, it says. I was thinking uh, because of the weight of the island and all the lava that's coming up, adding to the weight, um, maybe everyone there can stop ordering <laughs> packages from Amazon being shipped to the island to help reduce the weight, right? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.